this is Kalpana here in this video we are going to solve a non exact equation so let's get started problem solve x dy minus of y minus x into dx equals to 0 solution given differential equation is x dy minus of y minus x into dx equals to 0. Then, minus of y minus x into dx plus x dy equals to 0, which is in m dx plus n dy equals to 0 form, right? So, here we have m and n, where m equals to minus of y minus x and n equals to x right m equals to minus of y minus x and n equals to x so let's find partial derivative of m with respect to y if partial derivative of m with respect to y is equals to partial derivative of n with respect to x then we can say that the given differential equation is exact okay so we are going to check whether the given equation is exact or not do by do by of m for m equals to minus y plus x is equals to since we are doing partial derivative with respect to y so here x is treated as constant minus partial derivative of first term plus partial derivative of second term is equals to minus partial derivative of y with respect to y is 1 plus partial derivative of constant with respect to y is 0 which is equals to minus 1 right now let's find partial derivative of n with respect to x which is equals to dou by dou x of for n equals to x. Partial derivative of x with respect to x is 1. We got 1 for dou n by dou x and minus 1 for dou m by dou x. Clear that partial derivative of m is not equals to partial derivative of m. Right? So from this we can say that the given differential equation is a non-exact equation, right? Therefore, equation 1 is a non-exact equation. So now what we have to do is simply reduce this non-exact equation to exact equation form using inspection method what is inspection method we'll just use a suitable differential okay to reduce the complexity and from that we'll get do m by do y equals to do n by do x so let's see x into dy minus of y minus x into dx equals to 0, right? Then, x dy minus y dx minus into minus plus x dx equals to 0, right? So, let's consider it as equation 1 term. Okay, we know that differential y by x equals to x into dy minus y into dx by x squared okay so here in order to apply this formula we need x square in the denominator dividing by x square or here we can say our integrating factor is One by x square. Okay. Get x dy minus y dx plus x into dx by x squared equals to zero. Right. So here you can split into two terms since you are having two terms in the numerator and one term in the denominator. We can split the total expression to x dy minus y dx by x square plus 
x by x square into dx equals to 0, right? So, in the next step, we can apply this formula, right? Then it will be easy to integrate and get the solution, okay? So, fine. This is the third thing, right? Fine. Now, we'll check whether the reduced equation is exact or not. x dy minus y dx into x sorry x dy minus y dx plus x dx by x square right we can also write this as simply separating differential dx and dy minus of y minus x into dx by x square right then I'll just write all the terms containing dx on one side and terms containing differential dy on the other side. Okay, is equals to x by x square into dy minus y minus x by x square into dx. Which is equal to zero, right? Now, 1 by x into dy minus y by x square minus 1 by x into dx equals to 0, right? So, here m equals to minus of y by x square minus 1 by x and n equals to 1 by x. So, let's find whether this equation is exact or not. I'll show you, okay? Do m by do y equals to do by do y of minus of right first term y by x square minus do by do y of one by x right. Is equals to minus so here 1 by x square is constant into do by do y of y minus partial derivative of constant with respect to y is 0 since we are doing partial derivative with respect to y so 1 by x square and 1 by x are constants here equals to minus of 1 by x square into partial derivative of y with respect to y is 1 so this is equal to minus 1 by x squared is your dou m by dou y value. So now let's check for partial fraction of n with respect to, sorry, partial derivative of n with respect to x equals to dou by dou x of 1 by x, obviously minus 1 by x squared. So here, we can say that this equation is an exact equation, right? Which is exact. So we have reduced the given non-exact equation to exact equation using, using a suitable integrating factor, I can say. Integrating factor 1 by x squared. Okay? So, we have reduced the given equation to x set. Now, we are going to apply formula since differential y by x equals to x dy minus y dx by x square. Then, the above equation becomes differential y by x plus 1 by x into dx equals to 0. Now, by integrating integral differential y by x 
plus integral 1 by x into dx equals to 0. We know that integral dx equals to x, right? Or integral d theta equals to theta, right? For theta equals to y by x, we'll get integral differential y by x is y by x plus integral 1 by x dx is log mod x equals to constant c, which is the required solution, general solution. Therefore, the general solution of 1 is y by x plus log mod x equals to c. So we have seen a problem from non-exact equation using inspection method. Hope you'll understand. We'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.